It was celebration all the way as the first batch of Nigerians based in Ukraine arrived at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. The plane landed at 6.52 a.m. this Friday in Abuja. The returnees who fled the Ukraine invasion to Poland will receive $1,000 each from the federal government upon arrival. They'll put in place to ensure that everybody is fine. What other services will Refugee Commission be providing for them? Protection and assistance. You know we're talking about 5,000, we're evacuating 5,000 Nigerians. The most important thing is their families need them. The country needs them back. And as you can see, we have 411 students here. The first and most important thing is to get them back home. Really bad day, but the sirens were like ringing every day and every day and every day. So that didn't make us feel safe, uh, my own friends. So um, at a certain point, we left. We went to the Syrian border, the border bordering Ukraine and Romania. And from there, we were able to like cross, but it was terrible. Members of the National Assembly who traveled to Romania and Poland to coordinate the evacuation said emergency costs should be captured in future budgeting. Next time, uh, going forward, should try to envisage some of these things as by way of emergency anticipation. So that when we are budgeting, we budget for the missions to be able to address these kind of circumstances whenever they come up. We don't hope for them to recur, but the fact is that we must make arrangements out of experiences. Those families that are already here will be made uh, available to their wards and pick them up. And where you have challenges or otherwise uh, situations, the government through the Federal Minister of Foreign Affairs has made adequate arrangements to really link up these students with their loved ones. Uh, because uh, the government of Romania have really cooperated and have assisted in the success of this thing. Uh, we have a lot of citizens of Romania who has also come to volunteer to help uh, these uh, students. Right. Government officials say 411 students are part of the 450 evacuees evacuated from Bucharest and promise to do everything possible to protect the lives of Nigerians wherever they reside. The Delta State Command of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, the NSCDC, has warned against continued acts of pipeline vandalism in some parts of the state, saying those courts will be made to face the full wrath of the law. The court state commandant Abiodun Akinsoya sounded this note of warning in Asaba, the state capital, while parading 11 suspects alleged to have vandalized pipelines to enable them to illegally scoop refined petroleum products. Our correspondent reports that the arrest of the suspects came amidst the celebration of this year's International Civil Defense Day. The Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps Delta State Command has emerged 52nd out of the 60 member states that celebrated the World Civil Defense Day on March 3rd. The command used the ceremony to parade 11 crude oil vandals who were handed over to them by men of the 181 Amphibious Battalion, Operation Delta Safe of the Nigerian Army. The vandals were said to have been involved in the vandalizing of industrial pipes. Some of the suspects narrate their level of involvement in the crimes they are being paraded for. The chiefs of the village called me to come and buy the pipes. I myself am from the village also. Then I took my truck there to loot. On my way coming out, the soldiers, the police, the vigilante, they apprehended me on the way. I'm a, I'm a scrap dealer. It's 1.2 they sold them for me. I didn't follow them to vandalize the pipe. I only follow the boss that want to load the rubber pipe. They told us that it's a rubber pipe. I, will, I should go and bring the bus to load the rubber pipe, get into the location. As we just get there, that is when the vigilante people came and arrest us. NSCDC Commandant Delta State Command Abiodun Akinsoya, speaking earlier, said that the command will continue to intensify its efforts in fishing out all vandals and criminals out of the state. So we have warned them, we have also cautioned them. So whoever is found guilty by the courts will pay for it.
We will not allow the criminals to thrive. We've warned them. We are also on the radio, on televisions. We have also sensitized them. Let them look for genuine business to do so that uh, the what government is uh, providing for the citizens can go around. Prior to their arrest, the suspects were said to have been vandalizing crude oil pipes in Ivurode area of Ugeli South Local Council of the state.